send the title back for another movie review. I'm Strange Wayne. You read the title. You know what movie I'm reviewing of the day. So let's get down to the brass tacks. I get the Broken Heart Gallery. 7.8 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because this movie has enough to keep you invested, to keep you keep you looking. There's enough curveballs in there for that and keep your investment high in the film and high in these characters to the point where you want them to fall in love because they do fall in love. It's a fucking movie. That's right, man. That's right. And that's one reason why I like the movie so much, you know? With these movies, it's about the characters and the story and how long you gonna be invested in these characters and the story. And the acting, I love the acting, the actors, they did a great job portraying these characters. It's New York. So there's so, it's, the, it's literally the melting pot of the fucking United States, you know? So all these different characters with different backgrounds and it shows, it plays it well. It's not super in your face. They do, some characters have jokes that hint on their sexuality or the color of their skin or things like that. And those jokes are, those Twitter jokes I like to call them, I didn't think they're funny. I don't think they're funny. And I just think that those jokes shouldn't be in this film at all because it would be a lot better movie if it was. But I know I'm in the minority. The comedy's great, minus that. I do enjoy the silver lining of the Twitter humor in here that each character has a different sense of humor. One person, they say nothing but dad jokes. One person has a little bit of drier humor, dark humor. It's all in here. So it doesn't matter what you think's funny, you gonna laugh at something in this film because it's gonna match your humor because it's all in there because you got all these different characters. So that makes sense. And that's just good writing. Speaking about good writing, they throw enough curveballs in here. I already ruined the film, you know, they fall in love, but so you think they're gonna fall in love and then boom, I gotta tell you something. My mom, she can't remember nothing. So she's in this old folks home. And she means a lot to me because she's my mother, obviously. And it's like, damn, that bond just got stronger. And I wasn't expecting that because they was teasing it all through the film. And they built to it. They built to it. They built to it. They built to it. And it paid off. And a lot of films, they don't know how to do that these days. And this film did it. It did it twice. Do what I'm saying. And like guys do, on his side, he was hiding something as well. That he didn't want to get over that he didn't want to accept until it started coming to his hotel which is also the broken heart gallery and it interfered in their relationship and they they get apart from each other but at the end they come back together so i don't mind that it's a little predictable because of that you had me on the edge of my seat a couple times during the film i'm like holy shit they're not getting together because i'm so invested up to that point because the movie's funny i like the characters and everything so the writing the story is wonderful the directing for this film is nothing to write home to my about. It's better than the editing. The editing is a little noticeable and sometimes choppy. The transitions and like the settings and everything and the cinematography is good, but the editing just stands out. And when you're watching a film, you don't want it to stand out. Even in YouTube videos, it irritates me a little bit when it stands out. It's like, damn, they just cut, you know, like this button wasn't buttoned before. Things like that, you know, so not... That kind of threw me off. That's just a personal nitpick because I'm a big cinephile. I have a fucking YouTube channel for film. Of course I'm going to notice this kind of stuff. But for the people who aren't going to notice that stuff and enjoy the film anyways, the audience is for everybody. Anyone can enjoy this. I love rom-coms even though I don't look like I do. So I, I put it up there with like Sleeping in Seattle, you know, The Wedding Singer, Harry Met Sally. It's not as good as those films. But it's up there with them. I would put it in the conversation because it's different. It has its own characters, its own comedy, its own flavor, and it's in it's unlike anything I've ever seen from any other rom com. So I appreciate it from that point of view for sure because it's fresh, and I'm giving it. I gave it a fresh score because of that, you know. But the Twitter humor again, not a fan of that, and that's really the only thing minus the predictability in this film. I wasn't a fan of now if you're just watching this just to watch for a good movie you're gonna enjoy it and probably like it more so tell me your thoughts about the broken heart gallery down in the conversation below scroll back up hit the like button share the video and subscribe <laughs> <laughs>